So uh, last year, my father-in-law uh, came in to help us redo the uh, the bathroom. We were uh, painting it and putting in uh, putting in new vanities and, and sinks and that sort of thing. And one of the things that he talked my wife into was the removal of kind of a crappy cabinet. And then I see why why they had the discussion. It was like an IKEA isk MDF cabinet that wasn't original to the house, but it was over the toilet. And we used it for for storage and. And that sort of thing and, and we took it out and we ended up putting um, putting a painting this painting actually um, uh, above the toilet and while it looks nicer yes um, my wife tells me it looks nicer what it did do was it really cut out the amount of storage space that we had in our tiny uh, first level bathroom so what I had these grand plans I was going to build a, a special cabinet to fit and you know do some flat panel doors and and that sort of thing and now nine months later you know once again my my want and hope and and desire has uh, has overloaded my time to do things and so I have decided to to build a cabinet uh, from, from an existing cabinet uh, that we that we picked up at one of the architectural salvage places and so I'm taking this cabinet I'm cutting it down I'm putting it in place adding some some trim to match the rest of the house it does have already have flat panel doors, so it'll look like it's it's always been there, which is is kind of the hope for everything we've done with the house, the the bathroom, the kitchen, the living room. Is anything that we add, we make it look like it would have in 1928. So uh, this film to follow is the the process of of me uh, of me installing that building and installing that that cabinet into the bathroom. Enjoy. So it's not the greatest of light, um, but here is the nook in the bathroom uh, where the cabinet's going to go, or a cabinet is going to go back. Um, I don't know if you can tell this, but my wife actually picked the paint color for the bathroom based on this uh, this Van Gogh print that we got in Amsterdam. So anyway, we got to find another place for it here in the bathroom since it goes, but you will see a cabinet there shortly. Alright, so one half of the cabinet in. Here we go, so both of the two side cabinets are now in. With this cabinet reinstall, we had always planned to put a shelf there above the commode, but I had to scribe the wall because I swear there's not a square plum wall in this whole house. The uh, cabinet here is alder, and I went ahead, and because it's going to be paint grade, I used poplar for the new face frame pieces. All right, we have the first coat of primer on this uh, bottom shelf and on the face frame, as well as the center of the cabinet. We're not actually going to paint the interior of the cabinet. We're going to have doors on top of it. it it's a nice effect. Um, all of these seams will be caulked, and... Uh, especially this gappy thing um, and in a couple of days we'll hang the doors and we'll be good to go. I went ahead and sprayed the doors while I was working on some other projects. One coat of primer and one coat of finish paint down and we're going to apply the second coat of finish paint right now. My wife has already put the cabinet into use. <laughs> Um, the doors are on, and I've put on the faux uh, Edwardian glass poles that match the rest of the house. Um, some are original, some are not. There's a couple little pieces of paint that need to be touched up inside this one. But other than that, it's on. Raised panel cabinet above the commode. Since I was already in the bathroom working, um, I was kind of all in told to take care of some pesky things that were still lacking from the bathroom remodel like this uh, this raised panel end on the vanity and uh, adding to the mirror there in the bathroom. The faux raised panel has one coat of paint on it. This has now three coats of paint on it and that panel end, even though it's a faux panel, looks like it's always been there, always been with the house. I've got this one little uh, patch in the wains um, coating to do. And that's uh, next on the agenda. But yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. We installed the new vanity, but we still haven't installed new mirror. Moved the lights, that sort of thing. And then actually moved the plug 
and the fan switch from there uh, down to here. Now I have the new mirror that's going to go here and going to cover the ugliness that is the worst patch job in the world. Um, but it was never actually supposed to be patched or seen, so I'm not going to complain. And the new mirror will go right there. A little bit of an issue here with the house not being level. <laughs> um, the mirror is absolutely level, but the original mirror and the original um, cabinet is not. Well, I'm super happy to finally have the bathroom done and how these projects came out. Uh, the most important part of all this is my wife's super happy.